All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the ACS team. Here to make a quick video showing you how to root the EFO2 leaked Android 2.3 gingerbread um, for the Samsung Epic. As you guys can see, gingerbread EFO2 right there. Um, so what you're gonna first need to do is click the link in the description. It will. Oh, whoops! Didn't bring it up here. Sorry, guys. Let me grab that for you. Alright, so it'll take you to this thread right here. Scroll down, you're going to need to download these bottom two right here. D Rockstar and this one. SU.zip and this 311, 3101 recovery. After you have them downloaded, um, I put them all in one folder. Let me show you right here. This D700 folder, I put them all right here. So you got SU right there, the zip file. Put that on your SD card. So do that now. Put SU on your SD card, and you have this Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1.tar.md5. That you're going to need right now. Go ahead and open this Odin, Odin 3 version 1.81. Double click on it. Uncheck F reset time only have auto reboot checked. Check the PDA slot, press the PDA button, um, and then go ahead and put cwm3101.tar.md5 in there. So that's what you're going to have in there. You're going to need to shut your phone off so you can put it into download mode. Let me do that really quick. <clears throat> and you're going to need to make sure that's in the PDA slot right there. And only auto reboots checked. That's the only thing you always have checked in Odin. You don't want repartition checked. You don't want F reset time to be checked either. Okay. So once your phone shuts off, you can go ahead and put in the download mode, press and hold the one button and the power button at the same time. As I'm sure you guys know, goes into download mode, plug her in. Should be COM and then a number right there, COM6 in Odin. Then go ahead and hit start. Shouldn't take too long, it takes eight seconds, I believe. And should reboot your phone when it's done. Pass, eight seconds long. All threads completed, succeeded. As you guys can see, phone is rebooting. And when it reboots, um, you won't have super user yet. That's what you're going to need to do with that zip file you put on your SD card. But once it boots up, you will now be able to boot into clockwork. So we will let that boot up real quick. And then once it boots up, you can just shut it right back down. So go ahead and just hit power off. Might I add, um, as opposed to the EEO3 leak, this EEFO2 leak is significantly faster than the EEO3. I'm really excited to see what the developers are going to put together for this leak, as opposed to the EEO3 leak. Alright, so once it shuts off completely, make sure it shuts off. Don't want these lights going on. Come on. Alright, now that it's shut off, you boot into clockwork, volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time, press and hold. I hold it until the bottom backlit keys light up. You can hold it longer if you'd like, just like that. And there you go, booting into clockwork, clockwork mod recovery, version 3.1.0.1, .1, and it's purple. So you now have the updated clockwork on your EF02. So what you're going to need to do then is hit install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and go to that su.zip. So press su.zip, hit yes, install su.zip. It will go ahead and install it, and then go ahead and just hit reboot system now. And after your phone reboots, you will have clockwork and super user, and you will be fully rooted on EF0, EFO2 Gingerbread 2.3. So I will show you that once this boots up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to boot up. All 
All right. Now that that's booting up, okay. Let's go to applications, and there it is, Super User. As you guys can see, Super User is installed. So you're now rooted, and you have Clockwork on your EFO2 build. So hope this helped you guys out. Uh, I better get charging. As you guys can see, I'm running low. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment, send me a message. Uh, thanks for watching.